Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Kunal Patel and uh, in continuous journey of our linear regression today we are going to see one another important topic that is multiple linear regression. So in my previous video we have solved two examples with the use of linear regression that is simple linear regression. In this video we are going to use a multiple linear regression. So let's start with the introduction. What is the meaning of multiple linear regression? Linear regression with multiple variable is also known as the multiple or you can say the multivariate or you can say a multi variable linear regression right so in a simple linear regression we have used only one single independent variable to predict the value of the dependent variable whereas in multiple linear regression two or more independent variables are used to predict the value of dependent variables so here the main difference between the two is the number of independent variables but in both the cases there is only one single dependent variable there is only one single output we have right so if you are confused with the uh, independent and dependent variable then you can visit my previous videos so you can get the clear idea so as usual we need to solve an equation so in case of our multiple linear regression case we have this equation that is y is equals to b0 b1x plus b2x up to bn xn here b0 is the constant or you can say the y intercept of the line b1 b2 up to bn are the coefficients of input features x1 x2 up to xn are the input features and y is the output right so again we need to solve this equation same procedure we are going to follow to evaluate the particular equations okay so first of all we need to provide the input features then we need to create a model then we need to fit the model then predict the values and then we are going to calculate the r square okay okay so let's move ahead and uh, let's see the example how practically we can solve this particular problem so here uh, as you can see that i have one database that is a tv radio newspaper and cells right so here in this example what we are going to predict that based on the advertisement given in a tv radio or a newspaper which particular medium is producing the more cells right so instead of one we are going to take two uh, you can say variables over here input variables that is tv and radio right so you can see over here in this our example of predicting cells using variables of tv and radio so if you are going to generate the particular equation according to our uh, mathematical equation then cells is our output b0 plus b1 first input is a tv plus coefficient and the second input is the radio right so now we need to find the coefficients b0 b1 b2 okay so and after that we can create a model then we can predict it so first of all here we need to import the scikit library we are going to use the scikit library so sklearn dot linear models and uh, we are going to import linear regression class we are going to import pandas spd and uh, we are going to use advertising dot csv data set so here total we have 200 rows and four columns right so in 200 total data we have for these tv radio newspaper and cells so here is the sample of the uh, particular data set that is tv radio newspaper and cell okay now first of all we need to create our input features because we here we are going to use more than one input feature so here i am going to create one list of my input features and uh, that particular input features are tv and radio so here i am going to use this particular input feature variable over here and uh, my output that is these are my independent variables and these are my dependent variable that is y is equals to df cells okay so now i have uh, both the input independent variable and dependent variable so i can create a model so to creating a model 
this is a very simple way guys right so one model variable you need to take we have a linear regression so here we are creating the object of our linear regression class okay and then we are going to use a fit method that will find the particular intercept and the particular b0 and b1 that is it will find b0 b1 and b2 for us that is the job of fit function so we need to provide input that is our independent variable and y is are the y is the dependent variable right so if you calculate then it will generate the output like b0 is 4.63 and b1 and b2 coefficients are like this okay now uh, after creating a model now we can predict the values for different x values right so here you can see that i am taking one another variable and i am storing the all the predicted values in my y underscore predict variable and i am going to use a predict function to predict the values for the particular input so you can see over here there are 50 inputs there are lots of okay there are not 50 there are lots of inputs 200 inputs according to our x values okay now after that if you want to check the accuracy then you can calculate the r square so r square is the coefficient of determination right and with the use of score function right we can calculate the r square value so here if i calculate the coefficient of determinations r square score then it is nearly 0.90 so it is very near to 100 right so it gives me a based accuracy right you can also increase the accuracy later on by using different algorithms don't worry about it now uh, let's try to find out let's try to predict one value that if uh, i'm going to give 600 and uh, 300 right so if i'm going to give 600 that is our tv and uh, 300 dollars uh, for radio so if i uh, if i use if i use this 600 dollar for tv advertisement if i use 300 dollars for the radio advertisement then how much how many uh, units i can sell with the use of it so it is nearly 69.45 so it is nearly 69 units approximately you can sell so if you invest 60 uh, 600 dollar for tv and 300 dollar for radio advertising then we can accept to sell 69 units approximately right so likewise you can predict more values and with the different algorithms you can get the better accuracy but this is just a demo purpose so here this is the example of the particular multiple linear regression right so i hope uh, you like this video i took very simple example to demonstrate this uh, multiple linear regression problem okay. i hope you uh, like my videos and please subscribe to my video for our latest algorithms and examples thank you bye